our next competitors in Division 5A from Bakersfield, California, the Frencher High School Marching Titans. African-American pilots at all, separate and very unequal. However, in 1940, President Roosevelt ordered the Army Air Corps to build a unit for African-American pilots at the Tuskegee Institute in Alabama. These pilots later became known as the 99th Fighter Squadron, or the Tuskegee Airmen. discrimination in the South so that they could fight an enemy overseas. Many saw this as fighting two wars at once. One for the acceptance and respect they longed for in their own country and the other against Nazism in Europe. opportunity to fight, they did so with brilliance and accuracy. After joining with three other black units, the group painted the tails and propellers of their planes red. Though the combined unit's official title was the 332nd Fighter Group, as their reputation grew for being some of the finest pilots in the air, they became known as simply the Red Tails.
combat record of the Red Tails speaks for itself. At a time when the Allied forces were losing up to 65 bombers a day, the Red Tails flew over 15,000 combat missions and never lost a single bomber they escorted into battle. Not even one. With the help of the Red Tails, the Allied forces claimed victory on September 2nd, 1945. Thank <laughs> you. 